Hi, I'm Puran Kumar and I'm the principal at Studio PKA. Uh, it's a 25 year old practice which has been working on various projects through these uh, two and a half decades. We've been working on corporate projects and uh, uh, high end uh, residential projects, some villas and uh, some bit of retail work as well. So the client happens to be a, a very well-known filmmaker in the country. So they are in that in that creative zone where uh, they were uh, they were always looking for a place away from Bombay and to be able to have a place where uh, he can write and and she can uh, edit films and they can they can basically spend time with nature and along with themselves. The site is uh, in a place called Pauna. It's by Pauna Lake, which is a huge man-made water body. So that's the water body as we speak. And on the one side of it is Pauna Dam. And it has three forts, Lohagarh Fort, Tungi Fort, and Tikona Fort. And our site is right here above Pauna Dam. That's the site that we have sitting on a hill. It's a nine acre plot and it's a huge strip which is narrow and descending onto one side so if you see this kind of land which has got sloping incline onto this side we have this as the north and so that's the east and so towards west and uh, sorry towards west and south the the land slopes uh, down towards the water so we have the water body on this side. So the site uh, was a nine acre plot for which we needed to make sure that in order to manage this we divided it into two parts where this piece of land which was flattish was chosen as where the house would be since it was facing the lake and this is the part where we build a boundary in order to get the service block as well as the main house inside. If I was to show this to you in section, this is the top of the hill and it went down with a little flattish patch here going down with a road here and then the lake with the dam standing tall here. If you see this in section, this is the water body and the orientation of our site which is primarily from this point till this point uh, was all towards the water body and the two forts. And this is the patch where we decided to actually build the house and have the best view as well as um, the least disturbance to the hill. It was evident that we would need to have the plan which starts to relate with the, with the view and the surround. So the objective was to build as many spaces with an experience of the view of the lake as well as the forts in the distance. So we initially had the entire composite form of the uh, house where we had the bedrooms, the living dining spaces and the main entrance from the northeast side and the guest block a little detached in order to give them privacy. But of course the obvious uh, objective was to have an orientation towards the water. As we went along, uh, we realized that uh, we had got the basic spaces in place but for some reason the project did not take off for some years. We waited for the project to start building and then much later when, uh, when this plan had been devised, uh, it had been worked out last, uh, in the last decade and when we went on to actually start with the uh, construction, many years had passed. They had grown as people. The children had grown, they had their own uh, spaces that they could possibly uh, look at. And as, as we got into the process of finalizing the plans to go onto the site, we realized that it may not be a bad idea if we could try and bring in a certain element of privacy as well as identity to the various zones. In which case, we managed to get the guests their own block which is away from the uh, living and the dining block. The living block, which we call the L block, got its own identity as the day spaces. And the K block became the kids block and M block for the masters. What that did, the moment 
we managed to in a way explore the plan we automatically invited the spaces to become interactive and available for the landscape to come into the house we also in the process ensured that there was a good flow of elements like breeze and visuals of the spaces in the distance so this automatically brought apart from the cross ventilation from within the blocks it ensured that in between the blocks also we had plenty of space and sky to come in this is where we brought in the elements the natural elements into the, uh, the design and these green patches like this space is called the angan and that ensures that everyone from various blocks can come in for this interactive space this space actually is an open air area which gives a lot of interactive possibilities between within the families and this one uh, between the guests and the uh, and the owners of the house of course the most important part here was the swimming pool because that's something people look forward to going and experiencing we eventually created the swimming swimming pool in such a fashion where uh, it had the infinity feel to it it had a relation with the water in the distance the pavana lake uh, water and of course it also had the collection the, the water collection in order to get it uh, repumped so that completed the entire form so we have a lot of uh, elements that that i could talk about but some of the uh, some of the specific elements of the design actually are oriented towards bringing the nature inside the house so we've tried to create for example if this is the master block where where we do have terraces and and balconies and a staircase block which is is also within the house now within the m block we have created a small a uh, little patch a green patch which actually becomes integral to the entire uh, m block living experience so as you going up the staircase you will see that there is there's a nice green patch which is open to sky and on both levels of m block it relates with the exterior as well as it brings in a nice green atmosphere inside m block uh, likewise in the guest block we initially started designing the bathrooms on the fringes but they were kind of linked with the spaces or uh, the bedroom spaces so if these are the bedrooms and we had the bathrooms touching them we just created a little distance between the guest blocks uh, and the bathrooms thereby bringing in an open to sky green element here so this actually is a nice garden which has a small little pathway that connects the bedroom to the bathroom and you go through a, a hint of sky before you enter the bathroom spaces so that's how we brought in in the nature area here actually also in the living area we have an area which of course relates with the water on this side and the hill on the on the side above but in order to create some sort of cool patch there is a lotus pond that's been created right behind l block which is uh, seen from the powder room and the rest of the spaces behind in order to give this entire area a nice natural feel so in terms of materiality um we've used uh, wood uh, as as a client as well as uh, us we 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 love to express uh, the warmth uh, through wood so the overhangs that you see outside the house have wooden frames and wooden columns of course we've not gone to the wooden frame for the house and the roof because of the extensive amount of rain that is there in that zone and we could not possibly have waterproof the house uh, with uh, just the wooden frames and the and the mangalore tiles so we used terracotta as the roof tiles that is also translated as a material in the semi open spaces outside in the verandas and the and the decks so there is there's earthy nature of uh, of the flooring the feel outside the house in um, uh, the house as well as on the roof the um, flooring has been done in stone all through it's rough stone limestone which has been used in various earthy hues as you can see and it has been spread across um, as far as the um, specific accents are concerned we've used uh, exposed brick work to show some areas differentiated from the main areas like in the kids block you have the extensions to the rooms which have been created in exposed brick work the vestibule that is open to sky in the m block is treated in exposed brick work so on and so forth so primarily the entire color palette is earthy the entire material palette 
happens to be as organic, as natural as possible. When we enter this space, you will, you will certainly sense a sense of space. It's not like a, a city house or a house close to the city which doesn't let you breathe. It's the kind of space that, that lets you breathe. You, you suddenly see there's a sense of volume around you. In fact, as you are accessing the, the house after you're dropped off at a point, you don't go up to the house. You don't go up to the main entrance of the house. The whole idea of G block being detached from L block was that as soon as you come to that point, you can't help but look left because there is uh, the, the, the Grand Apauna Lake, the water is looking at you and you have the fort framed in that, in that uh, walkway between G block and L block. That to me, and I, I told the clients this uh, before planning this, would become the main entrance of the house. Once of course you're inside, the objective was that since it's that kind of a site, we did not want to keep people indoors, didn't want to give them the feeling that they are indoors. So there are large openings looking out at wonderful, wonderful uh, views towards the forts, the dam, the water. Of course, on the backside also of the hill, which is, which is uh, beautiful, especially during the rains. It's green and it's lush and it's, it's covered with clouds and, and, and it's in, in that sort of a zone. The house that actually is designed outside in rather than inside out.